everybody. My name is Danielle and this is Chatter Out Loud. Thank you so much for joining me. Your presence is very much appreciated. So welcome or welcome back. I wanted to share an update on Big Brother Season 24, BB24. So if you're interested, keep listening. All right, BB fam, this is going to be really, really quick. At least I'm aiming for it to be quick. Um, so here we go. Uh, well, first of all, I know I'm not breaking any news and then that's okay because I don't look to break any new <laughs> news, right? All right. So in my last update, I shared the BB twist. Uh, we have the two groups with five house guests in each. One group is indoors. The other group is outdoors. Um, Brochella, the indoor group is Michael, Brittany, Taylor, Monty, and Jasmine. Direfest, or excuse me, Direfest, uh, the outdoor group is made up of Terrence, Turner, Joseph, Kyle, and Alyssa. Michael is the indoor HOH. Terrence is the outdoor HOH. Um, at the time of my last recording, the targets appeared to have been Jasmine and Joseph, meaning Michael was targeting Jasmine and Terrence was targeting Joseph. And we saw on the last episode that aired um, that the nominations uh, we have are Jasmine and Monty, on in indoors <laughs> and Turner and Joseph outdoors right so in short for Michael this was straightforward because the indoor house guests were still operating as an alliance <laughs> right um or at least four of them were still operating under the leftover alliance right um getting out their target uh, not to mention Jasmine has gotten on everyone's nerves with her birthday month shenanigans um, now for Terrence in the outdoors, uh, because he really isn't aligned with anyone in the house and basically how he's shown to play this entire game, um, he goes any way the wind blows, right? Wherever there is power or where he thinks there's power, that's where he lands, right? And with that, there was the gameplay that Kyle enacted to influence Terrence's nominations. Uh, Kyle outed the Leftovers Alliance to Terrence. And what I found interesting are a few things about that. Number one, he initially told Terrence that Taylor, those of us that watch the feeds, we can see this. Um, I don't necessarily know if all of this was shown or revealed in the air episode that aired. So number one, he initially told Terrence that Taylor was added to the alliance as just a number, right? The second time he spoke with Terrence, he then led in with the story that Joseph Monty and Taylor are the ones running the leftovers, right? So which one is it? It was Taylor just added in as a number or is she part of the, the mastermind uh, between her, Joseph and Monty running the leftovers? So that was number one. Number two, Two weeks in a row, remember Kyle's DRs that aired to America? They made sure we got that clip of Kyle telling the house guests that were voted out, I'm in this alliance uh, that I created called The Leftovers. Remember that? I created it. He was taking all the credit, right? For all, for The Leftovers and the creation and formation of it. And of course, when he's talking to Terrence, he's not saying that, right? And this obvi obviously it worked because Kyle got Terrence to nominate Turner and Joseph, uh, removing the ability for either one of them to use the veto on the other if they won. And then number three, we saw that Joseph looked defeated in the last episode, right? It looked like he was crying. <laughs> um, and it was sad, yeah. Uh, but what I couldn't understand... And what I haven't seen on the feeds or found. So if any of you know where I can see this, uh, just give me a timestamp. I'll go take a look. Uh, just share that in a comment. But what I was hoping, something that I hoped that happened was Joseph, when talking to Terrence again, right? I hope he shared that out of all of the four players to pick from to nominate, I hope he brings or raises awareness to Terrence that Turner nominated him, right? Put him on the block once. Kyle didn't use the veto on him, right? To pull him down. And Alyssa actually voted him out, right? <laughs> so I'm hoping that Joseph played that angle, right? To say out of all the four people that are here to pick from, I'm the only one who haven't crossed you, Terrence. Right. And quote unquote cross because it is a game. Right. People are lying and stuff like that. But I hope he brought that to Terrence's attention. Um, and I really think Terrence would be affected by that. 
So I'm hoping that has happened. Um, who knows? It may have happened. Um, anyway, over the past few days, apparently the feeds have been down outdoor, the outdoor feeds, I should say, because allegedly there are wall yellers. <laughs> uh, see, BB Twitter was so upset about Joseph being put on the block. And this was way before it was aired, right? Because live feeds, we can see who's nominated and stuff like that. And we see, we saw the conversations with Kyle and Terrence and how he outed them, <laughs> the leftovers. But BB Twitter was in uproar. They are not happy. Um, they love Joseph. He is beloved. I'm telling you. Uh, and they do not like Kyle at all. I mean, I understand, but you know, BB Twitter is a whole different experience. And if you haven't, um, ever gone on Twitter, <laughs> just take a read. Uh, they are, uh, vicious, <laughs> right? Or they, they are super, super fans, right? I consider myself a super, a fan, a huge fan, I guess. Uh, but BB Twitter is something else. Um, and whatever. Anyway, however, um, the move that Kyle made could be considered a good move, but not for his own game, right? Like he's shown since he began this no man's with Alyssa um, that he's playing his whole game now for Alyssa. He screwed up his entire game. He threw away his entire game for Alyssa. Um, and he broke away from the Alliance too early. But I'm trying to keep this really, really short. Um, but let, let's remember, um, he had the leftovers Alliance, right? Where he actually was in good standing. He just felt like he was left out because decisions were being made while he was having fun with Alyssa, right? Including them wanting to target Alyssa. And he did not take to that. He, he did not like that at all. Um, but he spent so much time with her. He wasn't even, it just, let me settle down. I felt that he felt he was left out because decisions were being made and he felt like no one was talking to him. But the fact is he spent so much time with a listen that have not room and all day. It's, it's no wonder he would feel that way or excluded because you're spending all your time with this girl. <laughs> you're in this no man's right. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he was in the pound Alliance, right? That was with Monty Turner, Kyle and Joseph. So he had good standing there, right? And also he had a final two deal with Turner. Remember that? So he was insulated in this game, but that showman's, it just blinded him a lot, right? Um, and the way I'm interpreting Kyle's gameplay now is that he traded in all of those deals, right? All of those alliances for the one deal or one alliance with Alyssa. Was that smart? As a viewer looking at the game, I'm leaning towards no. I don't think that was a smart move. Um, all right. The other thing that is um, a highlight online is the alleged wall yeller. I mentioned that a little earlier. For those of you that don't know, a wall yeller. <laughs> and it's so funny because someone had asked me, um, It was a, I think I might have seen it online or someone at work but someone asked me what is a wall yeller <laughs> like you just sit back and listen to some of the terms in the bb universe right so a wall yeller is someone or a group of people who goes to the studio where the bb house is located and they yell um in hopes of informing the house guests of any number of things and in this case the wall yellers wanted the outdoor house guests to know that kyle is a liar allegedly that's what they that this is what the rumor is online, right? And this was in response to Kyle outing the uh, the leftover lines and blaming Joseph as the person who runs it and things like that. And like I said, Joseph is beloved. Like they love him um, on BB Twitter and they were not having it. They were not happy. There is all these hashtag to cancel um, or in the, <laughs> what was the hashtag? stop the dire twist or stop the BB twist or something like that. It is hysterical to me. Um, it's very entertaining. Uh, and remember all this is alleged, right? So the alleged wall yeller. Um, and the next, I'm going to say a little bit later, it's also alleged, but I'll remember to say allegedly <laughs> later on. Um, also, I believe there could be a hint of truth to this because the fees have been down. And that's the only reason I, th I, th I believe that there's some truth to this because 
these feeds have uh, the outdoor feeds i should say um have been down for so long since saturday right they come back up they go down they come back up they go down for hours like 14 hours one was one count anyway um and the rumor is the feeds are down because they're the production bb production um they are playing music in the backyard to drown out the wall yellers (laughs) I find all of this hilarious. Um, nevertheless, the feeds have remained down for the outdoors. Um, and like I said, they, well, they did come up long enough for us to see that Terrence won the veto because he had the veto necklace around his neck. So he won the veto too. So he's not only the head of household this week, but he also won the veto. So Terrence has a lot of power. Okay, let me fast forward to the veto ceremonies indoors. Um, oh, by the way, Brittany won the veto. And it, after the ceremony, we saw that the nomination stayed the same. So, oh, and that's a spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so Br- Brittany won the veto indoors, right? Um, the nomination stayed the same. So Jasmine and Monty remain on the block. And I think Jasmine is going home. Um, another thing I wanted to, this is a sidebar here. Uh, when Brittany won, she was in the room saying, uh, when she was celebrating with Michael, she's like veto King and veto queen. And what I wanted to say to Brittany is like, settle down, right? (laughs) No one sees you as a veto queen, like calm down. (laughs) I just, that was funny to me. Um, and for the outdoors, it's confirmed that Terrence won the veto, like I said. And the rumor is that he changed his own nominations, taking down Turner and putting up Kyle. So allegedly, Kyle and Joseph are now on the block. But we don't know this for sure because the feeds haven't been back up. And then there's also some rumors that Kyle wants to self evict. I don't know what's going on. Um, I suspect we won't know for sure until tomorrow night's episode, right? But it has really um, riled up everyone online as fans, you know, live feed watches. We're keeping an eye on these feeds just to see if we get a peek of anything or if if something uh, is confirmed, right? There's a lot of accounts. Well, there's one account specifically. I don't want to name it on here, but there's an account online that people really consider a good source. And so that account is revealing certain things. And these, these are where the rumors are starting. So we will see if what that person posted, because apparently they have a close source in BB production in the production on the production team. So, and that person happens to work the live feeds, I think. If I'm not mistaken, that's what I saw online, but, um, we don't know if this is legit or not, but in the past they have, uh, shared things or spoiled things that we didn't see on the feeds. And then when they come back up, um, it, it holds true. So who knows? We'll have to see. Um, but at this moment, the thing that we can confirm is that Turner and Joseph were put on the block. The veto was played. Terrence won the veto and the rumor is that Terrence took down Turner put up Kyle now the other thing I wanted to talk about um when initially when I heard this alleged nomination change um that Kyle is now on the block or that Terrence made putting Kyle on the block did he do this um so when the house merged back together it won't look suspicious he meaning Terrence, like Kyle convinced Terrence to do this. So when the house merges back together, it won't look suspicious to the leftovers when Joseph is voted out. Um, and it's a way to keep the new alliance that Kyle wants to form with himself, Alyssa, Terrence, Brittany, and Michael. <laughs> I can't with Kyle. Um, and my second thought after this was that the wall yeller maybe impacted Terrence's um, decision, right? And or Turner and Joseph was successful in getting Terrence to see that Kyle was playing him. Uh, Not to mention, what did Kyle have to gain by outing the leftovers, right? Could Terrence be that insightful to see that Kyle just betrayed his entire alliance and threw them all under the bus? And if he can do that, what makes me think that he can be loyal to me? This is me thinking that 
Terrence could be insightful. Like he's saying this to himself. And could it be that Terrence has an idea of how to use this in his favor moving forward? I don't know. We'll have to see. Again, I don't think we'll see or we'll get any of this confirmed until after tomorrow night's episode. So, and who knows, this could be production's way of getting people to tune in, right? Because people are just about over this twist. There's hashtags asking for the twist to end. People want a a reset of this week. It's so, it's hysterical. Um, All of this is entertaining to me. Uh, But you have to let me know what you think about all of this. Leave me a comment below. All right. Oh, yeah. And let me know what you think about this twist with the indoor and outdoor tribes. Oh, I mean, (laughs) the indoor and outdoor festivals, the Brochella and the Dire Fest. Let me know what you think about this. I think the entire concept in terms of being played in the Big Brother game, it all needs work. Right. You have to let me know what you think. Um, So leave me a comment about that. All right. And that's all I have. I love for you to like, share, follow, and subscribe, all of which will help my channel grow. So thank you in advance. All right. My name is Danielle and you're listening to Chatter Out Loud. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, I appreciate your support. And that's all I have. Thanks again for listening. And I'll talk to you next time.